The design of John Deere crawler loaders reflects a lot of consideration for safety. But does this automatically ensure safety on the job site? There are many pieces of safety equipment on the machine, but there is no assurance that the safety equipment will get the job done unless you use the safety equipment that's on the unit. One of the most important pieces of safety equipment is your seat belt. Buckle up before you start the engine. The rollover protective structure by itself does not assure your safety in the event of an overturn. If you are not wearing your seat belt, you could be thrown and crushed, possibly by the ROPS itself. Don't operate under the mistaken impression that if a machine overturns, you can hold on or jump free. That impression may be fatal. Before starting out, make a quick check of the operational controls. It's better to take a moment now than to find out at a critical moment when it's too late to avoid an accident. If you are new to the machine, it's a good idea to operate the controls in a safe location until you become familiar with them. Before you begin work, be sure you call the utility services in the area to have the job site marked for underground lines or structures. In most areas, there is a free or low-cost one-call locator service. In the United States, just call 811 and you will be connected to the local locating service. It's better to take a little time before the project begins to know what you may encounter. If you cut or rip through a gas pipeline or an electrical line, you will be losing a lot more than a little time. As mentioned, it's up to you to use your safety equipment. And it's also up to you to use good safety judgment. As the operator, you have a primary responsibility for the actions of the crawler. Always think about what you have to do before you do it. Never stop thinking about what is the safe thing to do, not only for yourself, but also for the people around you. This brings up another important point. There is only one seat and seat belt in the crawler. That's for you, the operator. These machines are not designed for riders. And when working in close areas, reduce your speed. You never know what might pop out in front of you or in back of you. Even though the backup alarm is sounding, you still need to look behind you before and while backing up. You should reduce your speed when in rough terrain or when carrying a heavy load. No matter what the terrain, always carry your bucket low for better stability and visibility. Cross over obstructions at an angle. Ease up to the breakover point, balance slowly on the obstruction, and ease down to minimize the impact. This is particularly true when working on slopes. Always drive up or down the slope with the heaviest end of the loader on the uphill side. That means with a loaded bucket, you need to drive forward up a hill. Drive up vertically and avoid turning. That's when a machine is least stable, it may overturn. With an empty bucket, back up the slope. When using the loader, keep the loading surface smooth and level. This not only makes it easier to load the truck, it also improves stability when the boom is being raised. It's important to be careful when working close to a trench to avoid a possible cave-in and accidental machine overturn. When backfilling, a good method is to attack the pile at an angle, so the dirt falls gradually into the backfill area. This helps avoid large chunks of dirt causing damage to objects near or in the trench. It also helps with visibility down into the backfill area. When shutting down the unit, there are a few simple procedures that you should follow. The machine should be parked on a level surface. Move the FNR lever to neutral. And lower the bucket and any attachments to the ground. Operate the engine at half speed without load for a couple minutes. This will cool down the turbocharger to extend its life. Slow the engine to low idle before stopping the engine.
K-Series crawler loaders have an automatic turbo cool-down feature. If the engine is hot and the stop button is pressed, the engine will continue to run while the turbo cools down. Once cool, the engine will shut down. If you are shutting down for the day, it's a good idea to lock up the machine. You never know who might drop by. If you plan to haul the unit, you should always use caution when loading it on or off a trailer. Experience shows that this is one of the most likely times for a tipping accident. Be sure the trailer is sitting on a firm, flat surface. The bed should be clean of debris. Use chalk blocks against the trailer wheels to help prevent the trailer from moving. You should always fasten your seat belt before loading or unloading in case of overturn. It is recommended that you have a spotter to help line up the crawler and that both you and the spotter are familiar with hand signals. To keep you straight and on target, some operators line up on a board or other object on the trailer. The center line of the machine should be on the center line of the trailer. The unit should also be balanced fore and aft on the trailer. Once on the trailer, Move the FNR lever into neutral and lower the bucket and any attachments to the trailer. After cool down, shut off the engine. As before, lock up the unit against vandalism. Fasten each corner of the machine to the trailer with a chain or cable with appropriate load binder. Before you haul the machine, be sure of its overhead height to the ground. It's better to know your limitations beforehand rather than learning the hard way after you hit something. As you have seen, John Deere K-Series crawler loaders are equipped with many safety features and systems, but it's up to you, the operator, to use them. You have to think about every move you make before you make it. It doesn't matter how much experience you have, it only takes one mistake to make a difference in your life and in the lives of others. Statistics show that of all the accidents reported, over 90% of the operators hurt or killed were listed as experienced. Accidents don't always happen to the other guy. That other guy can be you.